what is going on? It is Here today, early as hell. Um, we are hitting a garage sale that is quote unquote from a divorce, so it should be interesting to see what's going on. Um, usually divorces and estates just need to liquidate a bunch of stuff, so we're here to help out and make some cash. Catch you guys in a second. Name brand Shoei Helmet. You looking at those books? You like like raking profit? Mm -hmm. Go look go to the books. What is that thing? It's a nice speaker. Oh, nice. Nice original Xbox. Are you gonna make on this? Uh, this is like between two and four. Mm -hmm. Here, I don't know what this is. I just go for twenty bucks a pop. There's vitamins, dude. There's like one of the bottles on there was selling for forty. Like that bag right there is another forty. Like sold for forty. And they're, they're like high end vitamins, yeah. and they're all brand new. Are they? And it's like a complete. Expired? Oh, that's a good, good question. This we got a nice little Lamborghini Countach model. Boom, that's pretty cool. LP 400. Casters? Yeah, that's pretty There's chill. Shack glass disguised as a cowboy boot. One of the reasons I love doing this. Love going to love going to garage sales every weekend. You get to find so much cool stuff. What we got here? Baseball card. Whoa, okay. Oh, nice. Look at that. Randy Johnson Mariners card. Wow. I think that's 1991. Holy crap. Oh, these are all 1991. Nice. That's cool. Joke. Let's see what we can find in here. Hmm. That's kind of funny, I guess. There we go. Taking two hundred thousand years. Come and buy the electronics. Oh, that's fine. We'll see you at 250. Jump out here. Cool. You want to put those up? Five bucks. No, I don't like that. Awesome. Pleasure, guys. Hey, good to meet you. Thanks, and thanks for your information. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Pleasure to meet you, also. Need you guys' help? Awesome. Good deal. Yeah. 
Good. Sweet. Have a good one. Pretty fruitful haul right there. Yeah, we paid two fifty. We're looking at probably around a thousand dollars of uh, cash money. Uh, big ass speaker guy goes for around five hundred to six hundred bucks. Smaller, smaller end stuff goes between two and three, probably getting around a thousand dollars made. Not bad. Head northwest on North Greyhawk Drive toward East Thompson Peak Parkway. Right now we're in a really high-end gated community up in North Scottsdale called Greyhawk. And the person we're about to go see has some really high-end uh, designer bags such as Burberry. And so we're about to head on over there. And Ty's gonna tell us a little bit about his strategy because, um, I mean, this isn't a typical yard sale. Yeah, so it's an indoor, indoor yard sale. We had to call to set up an appointment. This is some big time shit. Um, usually with these places, they don't let you have garage sales. So you have to call for appointment and then that's what they do. Um, we're trying to find, see if, there's, see if there's any good stuff we can buy. I'll we'll just give it a check out. Um, and these Burberry and like Coach and um, Louis Vuitton purses and other handbags are a bit more, they're a bit difficult to see if they're real. You gotta check, see if the logo's right, right? You gotta see what kind of neighborhood they're in because if they're in the lower end neighborhood, they're obviously gonna be fake or majority likely gonna be fake. Um, higher end neighborhoods, they're mostly gonna be real. Sometimes they're not, sometimes, yeah. But check the label, check the seams, see if it's good stitching, all that jazz. If it is, you can basically cash off it. If it's not, hey, give it a shot at least. Yo, so that was kind of a dud. Um, she was kind of like, she was an antique dear before, so all the stuff she had was kind of um, things she couldn't move, so we obviously don't want to move them. Um, nothing really valuable in the sense of like eBay and online. Um, there's just too much out there. But we gave it a shot. There's two bur there was two purses, a Burberry and a Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton is between, that one between three and six, probably more like four-ish, honestly. Um, and the uh, Burberry ran 300 bucks. She said she wanted 400 for the pair. Um, there's not enough margin in that sense because we have to pay a bunch of fees and shipping and all that jab. But worth a shot. All right, quick little recap on what we got. We got a little haul ski. We got a uh, Bachman. Bachman's a great brand for um, little toy trucks or your trains. A um, couple of whatever the fuck this is called. Um, we got two Polaroids. Those are easy money. You can buy. You can sell this for twenty dollars any day of the week. Then we got this nice lift master ceiling mount right here. Picked up some tailor-made clubs. These things are really nice. We got uh, some more Crestron, Crestron stuff. This is the baby right here. Big old amp. Uh, Sonoris, uh, Sonap, one, two, five, zero, MK, two. This thing's worth five to 600 bucks. Um, yeah, not bad, not a bad little hole. And you can tell it's heavy duty because it's got all those cooling slats on it. Yeah. Anyways, like 70 pounds. Henry Spine right here. Probably like 300 bucks worth of um, supplements. All new vitamins and supplements. You got a Novite. Cute little Polaroid. That's nice. You can make 30 bucks on this all day long. That will go, go in five seconds. There's a guy that's actually buying them to like store them and, and warehouse them and then sell them later on. So what do we got here? Uh, this is a DeWalt little tool set. Not bad, there's a drill and then there's a Sawzall inside of it too. About 115 bucks. And then a razor zip. Um, yeah, spear, uh, just another little saw, probably like 50 bucks. Overall, not a bad haul. Had a pretty good morning. Ate some good Chick-fil-A too. Uh, only went to two sales, so it was a pretty short one. But uh, that's because we got a focus on the week coming up, right? Definitely, so we have the largest estate we've gotten so far. It's around $200,000 of inventory, every from thing from a Picasso painting, a lithograph actually, to um, Edmel paintings, ranging between 50 um, to $25,000 each. It's pretty crazy, it should be a crazy ass week, but we'll see how we do. All right, so thanks for joining us today. Like, subscribe, comment, Tell us what your favorite item was today. I'd love to know. My favorite item was probably those vitamins because I picked it up and it's a pretty damn good flip. She gave it to us for 20 and we should definitely be able to sell it for about 300 bucks. Not bad. 
So, it was a good morning. See you guys next time. Yeah.